Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to assemble the Quantum Mechanum Car PCB kit and connect it to your Quantum system so you can use it in your next project. The Mechanum Car is essentially a remote controlled car that is capable of performing various movements enabled by its unique tire structure. Before we start, you can find all related information about the Mechanum car, such as application and firmware files, bill of materials, diagrams and schematics on our documentation page. The link to the documentation is available in the description below. Before we assemble the PCB, make sure to download the bill of materials. This has all the parts required to complete this project. The BOM is especially important because it contains the component reference. For example, if you have a resistor labeled R1 in the BOM, place it where it says R1 on the PCB. Once you have finished soldering the PCB, you are now ready to connect it to the builder base. Let's start with the terminal labeled J1. This one connects to a 4.5 to 6 volt DC power source to provide power to the PCB and the quantum builder base. The power can also be cut using the switch and the LED indicates the power status of the entire board. Next. Let's connect the motors to the board. J5 connects to motor 1, which is also connected to pin 0 and 1 of the TLC. Next, we have J2, which connects to motor 2 and is controlled by TLC pins 2 and 3. After that, we have J4, connecting motor 5 with pins 4 and 5 of the TLC. Lastly, we got J3, connected to motor 4 and connecting to TLC pins 6 and 7. The last connection type is connecting the TLC 5940's control pins to the quantum builder base and provides power to it. These pins can be found on the left side of the PCB. J6 terminal top gets connected to 5 volts on the builder base. J6 terminal bottom gets connected to the ground on the builder base. J7 terminal top, which is the SCLK signal, connects to GP4 on the builder base. J7 terminal bottom, which is the SIN signal, connects to GP3 on the builder base. J8 terminal top, which is the XLAT signal, connects to GP1 on the builder base. J9 terminal top, which is the BLANK signal, connects to GP2 on the builder base. J9 terminal bottom, which is the GSCLK signal, connects to GP0 on the builder base. Now you are ready to upload the Mechanum Car firmware to the builder base. Download the firmware from the documentation page and import it into the firmware builder on your server. Next, save your firmware and upload it to the builder base that you have connected to the Mechanum Car.
Let's continue by importing the app. First, download the Mecanum Car app from the documentation page. Next, navigate to the App Builder page on your server. Click Import and then click Copy from File and select the Mecanum Car app.json file that you downloaded. Grab a joystick if you have one built and connect it to the server. Now, click the play button next to the application name, which will open the application mapping. For each hardware object, select the builder ways with the corresponding hardware. Once you are done, hit the save and run button. You are now ready to use the Mechanum car. Have fun and drive safe! We hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the rest of our videos. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification button for updates. You can also follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.